Day ones, day ones, no time for fake ones Got me, I got you, all dreams they come true Stay down till the end, need me, I need them Whole team gon' make M's, no time for fake friends yeah. Too many people be calling my phone but I never be picking it up Got everyone that I need in my circle, I never be going to switching it up Rockin' with the people who be following me when I never thought it would've happened and I never got love Now they wanna piggyback on everything I got, I never knew one from the bottom but I won't have What's up everybody welcome to Edisa. so first of all I am extremely sorry for uploading very very late so my computer's graphics card got damaged so I couldn't edit my videos so I am editing now on my laptop which is very very slow so sorry for that so today in this episode we are going to do the blotter media dance glow effect as you have seen so this effect is easy to do but it's little bit time consuming as you have to draw frame by frame yes you heard me right frame by frame so my video was approximately 32 seconds long and it was 25 frames per second so it makes around 800 frames which took me around 8 to 9 hours to complete the video i think if you do it in a correct way the result completely owed the hard work and the time you put behind this kind of videos so i'm going to edit the video in after effects so without wasting further your time let's dive into the after effects drop the footage on your timeline and go here and look for brushes so if this window is not visible go to windows and check brushes here and now select the brush tool and double click on the footage and now select a brush size according to your need i am going to select size 9 for this and now scale up and now i am going to draw a shape around this shoe frame by frame so for that go to the paint and select your color i am going to select yolo and mode is normal channels rgb and duration is single frame and so make sure the duration is single frame now we are going to draw around this shoe so now i am going to tell you a shortcut that will help you a lot in for drawing this type of animation so if you hit paste down so it will go to the next frame so if you keep hitting ps down it will go to the next frame and page up for the previous frame so now let's keep drawing it so i don't know what was wrong with my computer it didn't capture the uh, drawings in these frames so i told you my laptop is too slow i don't know what happened there so after finishing the drawing now let's go to the main composition now expand this and go to effects and ctrl c for copying the paint and hit right click and create a new solid make sure which is completely black hit ok make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline so now press ctrl v for pasting the paint and change the blending mode to the screen now let's go to the effects and preset and search for glow and drop the glow here change the threshold value to 20 and glow radius to 80 and now it's looking good keep the intensity at 1 so you can change its value according to your liking so now let's preview this one wow it's looking good now let's move on so i want my second effect from here so i will select the paint tool from here and i will draw a line and now let's go here and ctrl c copy the mask and now make a new solid layer again and paste it here ctrl v and change the blending mode to the screen so i want the effect just from here to here so ctrl shift d and delete the unnecessary layer now let's go to the effects and preset and search for stroke drop the stroke on the layer and increase the brush size at around 11 is good for my case again change the color i am going for yellow so brush size is too much just decrease a little bit now click on this stopwatch start and end and at the beginning just end is one and start is zero 
and at the middle of this region I will increase it to 100 and at the end sorry at the end I will increase the start point to 100 press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes and it's looking good already so we'll make it smoother for that select all the keyframes and right click and easy is so now it's smoother and search for glow effect again and drop the glow effect on this layer and increase the threshold radius and intensity as per your liking so for my case 20 80 and 1 is working just fine and select the glow effect and hit ctrl d to duplicate it so it will intensify the effect so for the shoe effect the glow is bit too much so for that I'm going to increase the threshold value of a glow 2 at around 41 now it's looking good now let's preview this yes that's it we are done thank you guys for watching this video I really hope this video was helpful to you so if you like the video drop a like and if you are new here subscribe and hit the bell icon i will upload more filmmaking and photography tutorials and videos on this channel so stay tuned for that i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay creative peace